Hello, my name is Nikki Bray, and I am the Adaptive Learning Fellow for WCET. Today I have with me Dr. Robert Manzer, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for American Intercontinental University. Hi, Dr. Manzer, and welcome, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be with you. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to pose a few questions for you that I think our community uh, would like to know more about. And we're focusing primarily on the higher ed administrators. Um, as an educator, um, how would you describe adaptive learning? Would you just say that it's revolutionary or would you believe that it's evolutionary or is it both? I'd say it's both. Um, I, I think it's evolutionary in the sense that it's continuing this migration from the, the uh, teacher perspective uh, or the teacher uh, professor perspective on learning to the learner's perspective where you're more and more putting yourself in the shoes of the learner and everybody knows that this is an evolution that's been going on. It's what the accreditors emphasize. But it, you know, it still has a ways to travel on most college campuses. Um, it isn't really where uh, faculty necessarily are when they've come out of graduate school and the way they're thinking about what they do and the emphasis on their subject matter expertise. And that never goes away. But you know, with, with every development that's taking place, whether it's the move to um, uh, faculty, student collaborative research, you're constantly trying to figure out well, what, how do we, how, how do we uh, be as effective as we can be with learners. So in that sense, the move to personalized learning, to adaptive learning is, is an evolutionary one. Um, but I also think it's a, it's a revolutionary one, and, and, I, and I would say that in the following sense. Um, it's revolutionary because when you put something like this in the center of a classroom, in the center of a learning experience, what you do is to create a community around the student focused on how do we improve the student outcomes. Because the, what you do is you can enlist faculty and curriculum designers, instructional designers, uh, and as well as the educational technology folks who are you know, in charge of the engine, um, all thinking about, well, how do we make this work better? How do we get better outcomes? So I do think it's revolutionary, at least that's been our experience, in constructing the grounds of a community of folks looking at how to improve student learning. Great point. So as a provost, what would your message be uh, to other chief academic officers regarding their leadership in promoting more personalized learning for students? Well, I, I don't know that I can tell them anything they don't already know. I think, you know, with any initiative of this sort, you've got to find ways to engage faculty. Um, you, you know, you can't impose it. Uh, you've got to find ways of, 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 of seeding the interest in what this can do. And, and I think, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a steep hill to climb um, because it does involve, in many ways, shifting to that learner's perspective. Uh, so engage faculty. Uh, but I do think that adaptive learning, if you can get the interest, if you can open it up, if, you, if you're patient and you take the time, um, you, can see, you can see a, um, a dialectic setting in where uh, people can glimpse the, the possibilities. Let me put it this way. Um, this is one of the ways that I've framed it in working with faculty is, what if you could teach and, and you're teaching students and you know always what they know and what they don't know. That's a tremendously different kind of teaching experience. And everybody's had the teaching experience of uh, feeling really good about the way a class is going. And then you get the midterms and you're crestfallen because you realize that a lot less has been taking place. Well, what if you are teaching and you always know where every student is in terms of what they know and what they don't know? And you have the potential to deal with students on a one on one basis knowing exactly what they need. Um, now, I don't want to overstate it because there's a lot more involved in the learning process that the professor brings, but adding that element of knowing what the students know, you can already, I think, glimpse the potential of what education can be. Um, so I think, you know, from the perspective of academic administration or from the provost's work, 
you know, it's, it's opening up the issues in that way, in a non-threatening, non-punitive way, you know, seeding the interest because it's exceptionally interesting what you're dealing with.